Zambia is struggling with debt that reached 120% of its GDP and its debt restructuring is seen as a test case for G20 leading economies common framework process which has been criticized for delays. Zambia would have needed to pay 70 billion Zambian kwacha in debt servicing this year out of an unavailable 100 billion kwacha. The debt service payment for 2023 was estimated slightly lower at 62 billion kwacha. The debt Debt restructuring will take the form of haircuts, extended maturity periods, and interest adjustments. Elsewhere, South Africa, one of the world's biggest citrus exporters, will voluntarily stop shipments of Valencia oranges to the European Union from areas affected by a fungal disease. The decision was meant to safeguard South Africa's long-term access to the EU, its biggest export market, which accounts for over 40% of orange shipment and 27% of soft citrus, which generates $1.7 billion in annual export and employs 130,000 people. This year, South Africa struggled with high cost for fuel, fertilizer and shipping as well as rule changes implemented by the EU in June. The EU implemented new photosanitary rules that disrupted shipments from South Africa, who initiated a dispute settlement case at the World Trade Organization over the matter. Finally, Nigeria will be able to send more liquefied natural gas to Europe by next winter as Europe seeks alternatives to dwindling supplies of Russian gas. However, security issues are delaying deliveries of more gas at the moment. Nigeria plans to build a gas pipeline through Algeria to Europe. The Nigerian and Algerian state oil companies will be involved, as well as other private investors who have shown interest in the project that is likely to cost more than $10 billion. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I'm Terry Njenga.